Steve, and, and uh, welcome to all of our, our members here on this uh, fabulous day for us. Uh, a year ago, almost to the day, we stood here with uh, uh, Mayor Moyo and Commissioner James, uh, as well as our project partners, uh, with shovels in our hands as we broke ground on this first major phase of our capital improvement project. And today, we're proud to celebrate the official opening of our major addition to Ida's the Sports Village. At our new club at Ivis, we, have, we will have two unique gathering places. A little over a year from now, we will open the new clubhouse, including several dining venues, each with its own personality, uh, our card rooms, uh, and even a room for uh, our cultural associations. And the clubhouse is our traditional gathering place. But today we open our brand new gathering place, the Sports Village, your community resort experience, the core where you can dine in a resort experience, where you can go to the spa a resort experience, your resort for getting and staying in shape both mentally and physically and developing your core, your resort for simply hanging out. The core will be the club within our club, and so our new sports village will be called the core. As you walk into the tennis and fitness center today, you'll be able to see a multimedia presentation on the core, uh, please enjoy it, and uh, quite soon you'll see it on the website as well. And so will the marketplace to advertise our new capabilities. All of the new capabilities provided by the Capital Improvement Project will enhance the IBIS experience for our current and future members as well as enhance the broader community in our West Palm Beach. We are fulfilling our vision, creating the place everybody wants to come home to. Before I pass on, along the mic to Bill Bloomberg, a few thank yous. First, of course, to Bill Bloomberg. <laughs> Additionally, to Ira Atatop, our treasurer, and the entire bank finance committee. <laughs> to our construction committee, and to our inter uh, interior design committee, they've done a fabulous job. And to Steve, our general manager. project every day, and as you can imagine, there are just a few more details than meet the eye. Uh, also, a few of the staff that have just uh, done a stellar job. Chuck Gill, our director of sports. Yeah. Colleen Scott, our director of food and beverage. <laughs> chef Jerome, our chef extraordinaire. <laughs> Nadine Moody, our fitness center manager. Kim DeArcy, our new spa manager. Welcome aboard, Kim. I'd also like to thank the entire board of directors here. And last but not least, I'm sure we'll soon cover them too, our project partners. They've done, a, they've done a superb job. And now I'd like to introduce Bill Bloomberg, vice president of the board. And we, as, as uh, Ibisinians, we owe a great debt of gratitude to Bill. He's just done a tremendous job. Everybody. groundbreaking here just one year ago. And in fact, I'd like to go back almost three years to January of 2012, when your Long Range Planning Committee, made up of Mike Love, Robin Adler, Carolyn Davis, Harry Stecker, Joe Whitman, Jack Kelby, Bruce Allen, the late Bud Hodas, and Steve Logadice. We sat around the boardroom with our, with our architects, Leo Daly, with essentially a blank sheet of paper. And we discussed what the new sports village would look like where things should go, how they should be positioned, how large they should be. We tried to decide all of these items through a lot of discussion, some disagreement, a jillion emails, but we came out with what we think was a great conceptual design. Our architects, led by uh, Bill Henzer and Jim Guerrero, turned that conceptual design into literally hundreds of pages of detailed design. And that detailed design was handed off to our construction managers, Flights and Company. I'm not a builder, and I've certainly been impressed with what they've done. They took all those pages of design and created the facility that you see behind me. It was quite impressive, and they did it in record time. I want to thank 
those people at White's who really led that effort, uh, Mike Thomas, Steve Phillips, John Sloss, their management skills really made this building happen. <laughs> sure problems arose in the course of uh, building it. Some would argue that they rose almost daily. But we managed through those issues and came out with, I think, a fine, fine structure. We told our interior designers, image design, the look and feel that our Ibis members expected in this, uh, in this uh, set of buildings. And in fact, I think from the feedback you've given, we've achieved the mark. It does look like what everyone expected Ibis to be. I'd like to thank those at Image Design, Debbie Lewis and Shannon McCurdy for their work, and pay special thanks to our design committee, Carolyn Davis, Aileen Casty, and Susan Hoffman. The design choices they made, I think, should be applauded. I appreciate it. Here we are today at our official opening. There's so many others that I can thank. Peter already thanks Steve, but I worked with Steve for the last three years, I guess, on this. And this dedication deserves a special hand. His focus is really <laughs> I'd like to thank each of you, your patience. The only problem is I have to ask for your patience for another year. And we're still building that thing across the street. Parking's going to be a challenge, but uh, here we are. I'd like to welcome everyone, because you ought to be proud of our new facilities. Please use them well and in good health. Actually, make me do it. <laughs> um, and I have to tell you, I'm pretty, I'm 
husband and I were here at the bistro and thoroughly enjoyed it. It's just, it just was a wonderful ambiance, great food, and just great fun. So I'm, I'm really honored to be here, to be able to do something in my own community. And as Commissioner Jake said so well, this bodes so well for our city. We have been on an economic upswing over the last few years, and um, we are projecting $1.3 billion of new construction in our city over the next couple of years. And that's and, and this $30 million gets into that uh, 1.3, so it's definitely a, a, big, a big push for our city and certainly contributes to everything that, we're, that we want to do in our city. A couple of things I just want to tell you about. We've gotten some accolades lately. We were named the number one city in Florida for business, um, which is pretty cool. We were also named the ninth happiest city in the United States. <laughs> if you, when they figured that out, they adjusted for wealth. So if you don't adjust for wealth, we're the second happiest city. <laughs> And we are also, Clemente Street downtown was just named one of the uh, great streets. Uh, there are 10 named every year. We are named this year with Broadway and Pennsylvania Avenue. So we're pretty good, pretty good company. So our city is just leaning. We've got great young people moving to our city, new businesses coming, and it's just a lot of positive buzz. So I'm really proud to be um, the leader of the city. I'm proud to live here and call of you, all of you are neighbors. And uh, one of the people, you know, some of the people I think we need to especially thank, and I know Bill did a little bit, but all of you all. Um, you made this happen, you supported it, you will support it continually through your um, fees and everything. So thank you all for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day, and let's enjoy the new facility. 